One very important part of the printer is still missing, which is the extruder. I waited with the assembly because you need to heat it up while mounting it. In this video, I will build a dual extruder. If you want to build only a single extruder, you can leave out the steps for the second one and assemble only the left extruder. First, connect the thermistor to the T0 and T1. To refresh your memory, the left extruder is numbered 0, the right one is numbered 1. Connect the heaters to HE0 and HE1. Lay the hot end on something heat resistant, a porcelain plate for example. Turn on the printer. Heat up the extruder to 285 degrees or more and wait a few minutes. Please note that the heat cartridge will produce some smells when you heat it up for the first time. This is normal and it will go away soon. Now fix the nozzle into the heater block and be careful not to burn your fingers. Fix it well and let it cool down. In the meantime, you can disconnect the extruder again. Prepare the fan holder by putting in two M3 lock nuts. Mount the radial fan to it with two M3 times 20 screws. Mount the filament pulley to the motor. The screw should be on the top and ends of the pulley and the motor shaft in line. Mount the motor with three M3 times 12 countersunk screws. Check if the filament can freely move through the printed extruder center part and put it on to the aluminium plate. Place the bearings and fix them with the dowel pins. Prepare the left cooler fan by mounting it onto its holder. Place the hot end into the base plate and the heat cartridge at the back. Cover the assembly with the aluminium front plate and fix the M3 times 20 countersunk screws. Lead the cables through the channel in the middle. Mount the right front plate. You'll also do this even if you only have a single extruder. Be careful that no wires get stuck in between. Fix the right hand cooler fan to the extruder unit. And there you have it, you've built the extruder. In the next video you will see if the mechanism works correctly, you'll mount it to the printer and connect the cables.